Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. Welcome to our global address with Her Holiness Saima. My name is Trevani Das, I'm the Managing Director of Awakened Life, a brahmachari or monk in our tradition, and it is my absolute joy to be hosting this extraordinary global address on the day, on the occasion of the guru, of the teacher, of the, the one that brought Her Holiness Sai Ma into the state of consciousness, that Ma is the day, Satya Sai Baba. And right now I'm sitting in Pudaparti, India. It's about a two hour drive from Bangalore in South India. And it's the town where Sai Baba was born and built his ashram which is now a beautiful, large ashram that is celebrating the birthday of Sai Baba today. Just a little while ago, we were in the ashram walking around, and on the occasion of Baba's birthday, they bring out what we call the golden chariot. This is a chariot that was created and gifted to Baba that holds a tremendous energy that Saima has said those that see and witness and experience this chariot their lives can be transformed. So just to give a little taste of what's happening here, I'd love to share an image of this chariot with you. And so this image was taken just a little while ago here in Puttaparthi, India. And wherever you are around the world, I invite you to allow ourselves, to give ourselves permission to fully show up here for this global address. This is going to be an extremely powerful time together. As on the birthday of an enlightened master, in the case of Sai Baba, an avatar, someone that came to this plane, fully awakened to who we already are, there's a tremendous outpouring of energy available to accelerate our own awakening or remembrance into who we are. So I invite you just to take a breath in that and exhale, a little sigh with me here, another deep breath. And sigh again. You can probably hear the sounds of India around me coming through, allow ourselves to move into that place of non-local where we can be together, regardless of where we are around the world right now. Be together here and now. And we can bring down the, the slide now, thank you. And if this is your first time meeting Saima, I want to welcome you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We'll be having two of our master teachers saying a few words before Saima comes to give us all some context and allow ourselves to fully get everything that's available here. Behind me, you'll see here's an image of Satya Sai Baba, Saima's guru. And then of course, our beloved Saima here as well. This was taken many, many years ago. It's beautiful energy. And I also want to share that in 22 days, in a little over three weeks, there's going to be our largest event of the year. It's the Global Unity Gathering. It's taking place in the JW Marriott Beachside Hotel in Marco Island, Florida, that's Southwest Florida, and online as well. And so I invite, if you feel that calling today that you know that something's available in our own awakening and our spiritual path and our expression as human beings on this planet and that Saima can assist us because Ma is here for us, regardless of what's happening in our lives. Wherever we are, whatever we're encountering, Ma is here to elevate us. Ma has said again and again, Ma is here and Ma's wish is for us just not to suffer, suffer anymore, to not suffer anymore. So in 22 days, there'll be our global unity gathering and I invite you to join us the end of the call today, I'll share a few more words about this Global Unity Gathering and invite you to join us, whether that's online or, or you choose to come in person as well. I 
stop speaking for a moment as I am so present to this outpouring of light, of consciousness, of energy from Sai Baba's birthday, from Sai Ma, and through these last few days of being here in Puddhaparthi. Sai Ma has invited Ma's Brahmachari, monks and nuns, the order, to be here in Puddhaparthi with Ma. And over the last few days, Ma has been inviting us up into Ma's room to sit at Ma's feet, and Ma has been teaching us. And teaching us in a way where it transcends intellectual. There's an energetic transference and a, a, a raising of our own consciousness so we can understand, know, and embody the teachings. And I share that because that's available to all of us now. And in a moment, as I mentioned, two of our master teachers will be coming, two members of the order. You may know them, Acharya Dayanandas. He lives in Israel and is a master teacher. Many, many, many years in the mystical path. And Sri Devi Ma, who lives in South America and runs a company there to support the awakening of those she serves as well. So these are two beings who have devoted their lives to serving and uplifting others through their teachings as well. And so I'm going to invite them to come and share with you now a few of these teachings we've been receiving from Ma to prepare us so that when Ma joins us just in a few minutes, we're ready to go. Sound good? With us? Fantastic. So I invite you to take a deep breath. Let's welcome Dayanand and Sri Devi. Welcome, welcome everyone. What a joy to be with all of you together. Being together in this such an auspicious time. What an incredible time for the evolution of humanity. That place that has been calling all of us to be here together on the call. And we all came from all over the world and have a look at everybody on the screen from all over the world something sparked us, call us to be here together. Humanity is evolving. All of us, in whatever you're going through and however you are feeling that, you're not alone. And some of us may experience that calling as a maybe an upliftment and some reminder that there's something more in life. Some of us may experience some challenges that coming up again and again, some stuff that coming from within us. Some of us are knowing that something is uplifting and available right now. However you experience it, wherever you are right now, it's okay. It's perfectly okay. We are here together. And I invite you to consider that deep within you, there is an answer to all of your wishes. Everything you desire, that calling that brings you, brings you here. It is within you, the source of all creation, the power, the wisdom, the love. It is deep within. And we have an opportunity. As human beings, we have a choice, a free choice. We may take an action. We may take an action to propel our growth, to propel our evolution, our healing, in wherever we are. We can set an intent. We can set a direction consciously for our lives. And also for this moment, right now on this call, to get the most of this call together. 
And that intent for today may be for some of you to hear something, something that in mass teaching that will propel an awakening for you. Another intent you may take is to give yourself permission to be fully, fully open, receiving the transmission here. Take a moment right now. Feel your heart in one breath and set an intent for yourself for this call. Receiving mass teaching. This is so special that we are together in this way. I have studied with Saima for over 20 years, and I was thinking, I think this for me is the first time there's been a video webinar broadcast that Ma has offered here from Puda Party. Mm -hmm. And so I invite you to imagine like we're, you're opening a door. And when you open that door, you're entering this sacred environment. And not only the sacred environment of Puda Party, which in itself is such a high vibration. Ma shared with us that here, the ego has no space to control our mind, our thoughts, our being. So in that way, our consciousness can be elevated. And as we're all connected, we're together inside of that. You, I, all of us are in this consciousness. And also this sacred space of this age old tradition where a master, a living enlightened master transmits the living wisdom, knowledge. What we are about to receive from her holiness Saima is a transmission, a transmission for your awakening. And when we say awakening, what does that mean? What does that bring to mind for you? For me, I think of awakening like when I wake up in the morning and I open my eyes and I experience myself differently. There is a shift in perception, a shift in how I experience myself. And one of the essential tools for this awakening is our intuition. For the first time this week, I've heard Moss say that so clearly. I've heard it said so clearly. Intuition is essential in the path of awakening. Why, why is that? Why intuition? Intuition is a way of receiving a knowledge, formation, knowingness that is beyond the mental construct. And I'm speaking about this as we're preparing to welcome Her Holiness Saima onto this call and space with us in a few minutes so that we can move into this awareness of our intuition right now. What our intuition offers is an access, a bridge to go beyond what we think we know about ourselves. right? We think we know who we are what we think, our opinions, how our body feels, how we're going to feel when we wake up tomorrow. And as Ma has been sharing with us this week, we continue to live in these old paradigms, these old belief systems. So what our intuition offers us is an ability to see beyond that who we are, to experience and we can bring together with that our feeling sense. So right now, in this moment, beyond listening to the words that we're speaking, I invite you to notice what you're feeling. Maybe there's a sense of a stirring from inside as you feel a resonance or an enthusiasm to hear more, or to experience, to listen to Saima. Maybe you can feel a subtle vibrational shift inside of your body or even a sense of energy moving 
radiating out from the body. Let us use our intuition to know ourselves in a new way. And in this way, receive the most from what Saima is offering us today. To hear, to experience, to tap into the high, high consciousness that is being transmitted to you through the words that Ma is speaking, through the look that Ma is offering. And as we prepare ourselves to welcome Sai Ma, I invite us to take a breath, to open, and from our heart, welcome Her Holiness Sai Ma. Oh, it's so wonderful to see you. I love you so. Ah, oh. how are you? Yes, yes, yes. I am with my Baba. After three years, I'm with my Baba. It's so wonderful to be in the ashram, to have this atmosphere of love everywhere, of peace everywhere, of a higher vibration everywhere. It's, it's beyond what we know in the mundane life. Even words are not enough. And I really wanted to share this vibration with you. You saw the picture of my Baba, yes? This is in, this is in the apartment that Baba gave to me. I'll show you another picture. Would you like that? Yes? All right. Yes, let me show you another one. This is my window from my bedroom. This window, I used to see Baba walking from his house to the Darshan Hall. And there are two windows like this. And in the Indian culture, there is always a light burning. You see the, the flame. And I can sit in front of this window. I have a, Baba gave me a rocking chair and I can look at Baba for hours, sitting and just looking at Baba. And sometimes I used to, I, I will learn every, all the discourse of Baba by heart. This is the view I will have and then when Baba will start speaking, I will speak also. At the same time, to play. So I can say everything Baba says. And this is another part of the apartment. Mahalakshmi, Ganesh, Shiva, and again, light. Baba gives everything. 
everything. This is the power of the Guru, the grace of the Guru, the compassion of the Guru. There was a time I thought I was devoted to Baba. What an illusion. What an illusion. The devotion of Baba is endless. Here, today. Sai Krishna came. Some of you have met Sai Krishna in Puttaparthi or at the Kum. And he came and said, let me take you. And it's a big, big crowd. I didn't say anything. But I know Baba will take care of me. And I got a, a seated place. And the chariot was right there in front of me for like 15 minutes. The golden chariot. Those of you who have the opportunity to see even a picture, this takes you to long, long time ago. So in this golden consciousness, in that golden awareness, the golden era coming to us, I welcome you in Puttaparthi. And I, I have an idea for all of you. So here's my idea. Is that any group of 10 who wish to come to Puttaparthi, I have the perfect place for you. And you can come to my apartment for meditation one, two times, three times, and just sit in my space here. I love seeing you with this big smile when you hear this. Not more than 10, because I, I like room for everybody. Then, during my stay here, Baba is giving me very specific shakti, very precise. So those who come here, I am ready to offer session, energy session, Baba Ma session. Wow, I see you, I see you say, wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, you have both. Only here, this energy session will happen only here. Only in Puttaparthi. Only for those who come here. I am so blessed to, to look at you. I love you so. Today, the, the translators are on vacation. I'm speaking very slow. <laughs> May not stay like this the full time. <laughs> mm. Consciousness. We have entered an era of consciousness. And for me, what I, I would constantly transmit to you will be the elegance of consciousness, the science of consciousness, the knowledge of consciousness. Consciousness, love you are born with in its full capacity. Like when you were an infant, you could love everybody. You didn't have teeth. <laughs> you were loving everybody and you were smiling, you were so free. Consciousness has to be developed by you due to the fact that you have free will. To be elevated, you will have to become aware, how is your consciousness? 
What are the distractions you live with? What are the addiction you live with? And start to be aware, the awareness of your thoughts, the awareness of your feelings, the awareness of how you speak, the awareness of how you walk, the awareness of the decision you make. And together with this, there's wisdom. The more conscious you become, and you allow transformation to be, your consciousness expand and move to another level of frequency, which means that you start to vibrate on a higher level of consciousness. Consciousness is going to be the key for the next era, the next yuga. We've had the Kali Yuga, we are now in transition with a little bit of Kali Yuga. Nevertheless, the light is coming in. The light is so strong these days that where, as it's shining on the whole planet and all humanity, the darkness is coming to surface. Who knows about that? Who can say, yes, they hear, they see. Let's not talk of politics, but you see it, it's happening. We are entering the Satya Yuga. In this transition, the vibration is already around. The vibration of the next era is coming from different galaxies, different universes, different suns all to serve humanity. Some of you in your country, in your city, in your town, you may have noticed there's a presence every now and then. So you are part of a galactic family and members of these families are walking on the planet right now. They are on the planet, in around you, serving you. Those whose presence is more palpable or uh, the presence of the Pleiadians. Why? The Pleiadians are the one who initiated humanity some hundred thousand years ago. Or else you would not have had this sense of divinity or, or searching who you are, what you are, where do you come from? Where do you go after this planet? It won't come to you. It, this comes to you because you've been initiated with this consciousness of divinity, of source, of God, of Allah, of that, all that is, that presence, the I am, the I, the je suis cela, je suis cela, le je suis. Il n'y a rien de plus puissant que ces deux mots, je suis. Ce qui veut dire, il va falloir être conscient pour ne pas dire je suis malade, je suis fatigué, je suis euh, dépressif, je suis... Non. Je suis, quand vous mettez le je suis devant n'importe quel d'autre mot, un mot, plusieurs mots, toute une phrase, vous devenez cela. Every time you add a word or few words or sentence it, after the I am, that's what you become. I am. I am that I am. That to So hum. You feel the different vibration right now.
the yoga, the era of truth, the yuga of truth, throat chakra. Many, many, some of you who has been to Veil in many of our time in Veil, when I will start working on the throat chakra, if you recall, I'll be coughing. And it happens even here with those who are here around me. And I have to ask them, place a bright, bright sun in your throat. Anchor a bright, shining light in your throat. And let it be there. Let it sit there. Day and night. Create your intent with this new yoga. What is your intent? the power of intent. So before you go to rest the body, your intent can be, my throat chakra is full of light. My heart is expanded, filled with love. And create that relationship between your soul and you. Activate that relationship as much as you can, million times a day, my beloved soul, and start to create this dialogue, not only the relationship, the dialogue. Remember, humanity has been living between betrayal and loyalty every now and then. In this coming era, you will have to make a decision, the decision of loyalty to your light, to what you are as consciousness, as source, as Allah, to what you are, beings of light, a commitment to yourself so that you stop completely betraying your light betraying your precious, beautiful heart, betraying the diksha, the initiation that you received from the Pleiadians. They are like your, your teachers, your, your big sisters and brothers. They pour the light of source into you when your consciousness was like whatever creature existed on the planet. You are the only creature who can live in such high frequency, who can ask, what am I? Who am I? What is my purpose in life? Do I have to suffer? Do I have to be in pain? What is enlightenment? What is awakening? The grace of love is with you. The power of light is with you. Everything you wish is within you. Your DNA, when you look at the loops of your DNA, they have layers. Imagine 100, your DNA has 100% energy. 5% is chemistry. The rest is quantum. In this quantum is everything that you see in creation. I'm going to show you a loop of your DNA. And I'm going to ask you to imagine that there are, they are layers. There are 12 layers. As you know, they're significant, the number 12. It's everywhere. The sacred mathematics. So in these layers, there are programs. My role when I meet you, maybe it be at Darshan, at a workshop. My role is to take the layers of some scars that doesn't serve you anymore. This imprint that doesn't serve you anymore. Washing, clearing. 
So you start to experience you with different lenses. Imagine that you've been wearing these thick black glasses. Your perception was that. The reflected life outside was coming to you was that. And you start shifting. Your consciousness start to expand. Why? Because from inside of you, this quantum DNA start to release all your goodness, all the highest of you. Mostly today, karma is over. Patterns are there until you do your work and work with your patterns. Karma is over. All the harsh karma, the heavy karma, it's all complete. Now you create karma instantly. It comes to you. If you are out of alignment, you will feel it right away through your actions, through your feelings, through your emotions, through your thoughts. And it will, you will feel contracted right away. Who experienced this? Show me. Yay. Yes. Yes. You feel the contraction of consciousness right away. The contraction of your chakras. The contraction of your brain. And the fact that there is no heavy karma anymore, you can be as light as possible. So today experience this energy coming to you from Baba directly. I was sitting under the pyramid looking at Darshan Hall. It is so packed. Baba is here physically. The presence. So receive today. Receive. Today you have the opportunity to have both the masculine, the feminine. Absorb both so you can balance. This is one of the attributes where you are going to have to balance your body, your brain, your energies, balance, equilibrium, constant balance, whether it's in food, whether it's in thinking, anywhere, it's balance. Understand that? Yes. So all of you who are hearing me for the first time or seeing me for the first time or on that call for the first time, you will hear me speak of DNA a lot. <clears throat> you may ask why. You may say, I'm not in a medical course. Why is Holina speaking of DNA? Well, your DNA is a storage room. Your DNA has all the information, not only of your matter, but what you have been in other incarnation of life, in other civilization. We can find this in you. When you come to Darshan or Darshan online, like we did in Japan or somewhere else, I know you because I can read your DNA. I can read what is in your subtle bodies. And the moment I see, and whatever I see doesn't fit anymore in your life, I clear it. That's my speciality, clear karma. The work that I do for those who are here for the first time, it's called the esoteric work, which and globe and compass the spiritual work. In the spiritual work only, we do not do the alchemy work. The esoteric part is part of, you have the alchemy in it, meaning you transcend matter. For instance, one of my work is to reverse your age. Look at the smile. 
You like that, huh? everybody. You know, I will not say anti-aging because I don't think there's anti-aging. Nevertheless, look at this. Yes, 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 yes. Reversing the age. You have your biological age and you have your chronological age. Then together with this, I'll speak of stem cell. I'll speak of everything that can keep you vibrant. I have spoken on health span, not on lifespan. What is the point to be to be maybe 100 years, but not healthy. Health span, keep you in that place of vibrant health with your nutrients, with the way you think. As the way you think, the way you feel, your cells will have a reaction. Action, reaction. Have you asked yourself, and I address today to those who are here for the first time, if your cells is renewed every 28 days, how is it you keep aging? Have you asked yourself this question? Why do you keep aging? The reason is simple. Your cells have memories. Your cells have subtle bodies. And these memories when the new cell comes, because you haven't changed the program, it will pass the same information, informations to the new cells. Do you understand that? Would you like me to repeat? I see some forehead is, is like, oh. So your cells is renewed every 28 days. One thing is, if the, I have new cells in my body, why am I aging all the time? Why is that? The reason is the program which is in these cells or in these cells, the information which is in these cells, the cells are passing it to the new cells. Now you may ask me, so why I don't, I don't have a new program for the new cells? The reason is nobody is giving direction to these cells to change the program. Now you may ask me, who is supposed to change the program? It's you. You are responsible for your biology. I repeat, you are responsible for your biology. For that, you have to shift your consciousness from the old paradigm to the new paradigm, to the era of truth. When you become the embodiment of truth, your cells will not live in falsehood anymore. Your cells will not function with lies anymore. Why? Because being sick, is being sick is a lie. It's a betrayal to your health. Aging is a disease. It's not natural to, 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 to age, no. Aging is a disease, a disease that takes one to death. Death is the Maha disease. You were programmed from long, long time ago to be able to live on this planet for thousand years. I repeat, thousand years. For those who have read La Vie des Maîtres, Masters of the Far East, Babaji and the 18 Siddhas, don't have to die not have to age. It's the programmation that has been created by whom? By your intelligent body. So for those who are here for the first time, there is you, your physicality, and there is an, a quantum body, an energetic body that most of you don't see, 
that has been with you since the beginning of matter. This is the being who gives you a short lifespan. Why? Because since you've been initiated by the Pleiadians, you know enlightenment exists. That's why you keep searching. Well, you will not search. This information is inside of you. This program is inside of you. The thing is, you have the power to live on this planet for five, six, seven thousand years. But if you're not enlightened, it's a waste. You stay in that place of ignorance. You may have received, and for those who are new uh, on, on, to us to, today, I will invite you to request from the office a recording with the Egyptian work we just completed. You will understand even more what I'm sharing with you, and it will be gifted to you. If I wait for 5,000 years for you to die, 10,000 years for you to die, you are losing this incarnation, which is so precious. So what your intelligent body did for you, give you a short life experience. So that you die, and when you come back, you come back with this awareness, I come to be enlightened. My purpose is to be enlightened. Now that the consciousness is shifting to a higher vibration, you're going to have a longer lifespan, a longevity. It's going to be the next, the next work for all humans to, to realize that Oh, I can live up to 100 years. Maybe it will be a little boring after that. Because you do the same thing for 300 years. You'll say, Ma, why do I have, I want to leave now. You want, now you want to stay, but then one time you'll say to me, I want to leave the planet. So your purpose is to be enlightened. Your purpose is to be awakened. Your purpose is first to be aware. What am I? Who am I? Sometimes I have this state of bliss. Sometimes I have this moment of ecstasy for no reason. Sometimes I feel so full and at the same time I feel so empty. This lightness. Sometimes I feel so much light in me and around me and I don't know more, so I search or a dream, or a moment, a flash of something. That's your power. At a point on this planet, when you will leave whatever life expands you, you choose to, and healthy, a vibrant health span, your vibration will be here. Disease vibration is low here. So, it can come by, boomerang, it doesn't touch you, it doesn't enter your matter because your subtle body is so strong and filled with light. And at the same time, your cellular structure has a new information from you, personally from you. You will say to yourselves, from today on, I give you a new program. Then you give the program you desire, you choose, you wish, and this new program now will go into the new baby cells, which means that your, when the new cells will come and your, your intelligent body will say, anything new? Yes, there's something new. It's a new program. Now the new cells receive this new programmation. It's amazing, amazing. And you'll feel so free. And this is when you start moving towards awareness of gratitude. Thanksgiving is being celebrated. You're grateful to your mother give you birth. 
to your father who accepted you to incarnate. You have food in the house. You are grateful to all your surrounding. What about being grateful to you? Take a moment with me. Open your heart fully. Open your brain. Welcome your light. Enter that space of, of intuition in your, in your Hara area, strong intuition, and welcome you. Take a moment and be grateful to you. Look how courageous you are. There's a big difference by going to church, to temple, to mosque regularly every week with your spiritual path. Church won't trigger you. Temple won't trigger you. Your spiritual path, trust me, you'll be triggered. There's no dogma. This verticality with your soul, with your higher self, with your I am presence. Why you will feel triggered? Because there's no room for ego in that place. And the fact that the ego has been here for eons, it doesn't want to leave you. And this energy comes also from the great intelligence, from source, it's powerful. It will manipulate you. It will trick you. It will charm you. And you will divert. That's the role of ego. Ego is not interested in enlightenment at all. It gets triggered. It doesn't like gurus. It doesn't like, like enlightened masters. You have to be the master of your life, the master of your consciousness. So for that, let's start with you. Let's start by being grateful to you. Take a moment, take your hands, welcome the consciousness of gratitude, this attitude of grace, gratitude. And take these hands with everything you feel in, in your hands right now. and place it on your body, in your chest, in your heart chakra, in your hara center, in your physical heart where your magnetic field is so powerful. And take a moment, be grateful to you. Close your eyes. Be grateful to your body, as without the body, there is no enlightenment. Thank your body, offer gratitude to your body. Offer gratitude to your courage to step in a spiritual path, not only on many of you on this call, has already entered in the spiritual path. Those who are starting, you are on the path. Thank yourself. Thank yourself to be so courageous. In this incarnation. To welcome your light. Be grateful to you that you free yourself, you liberate all that humanness, that ego to welcome your light. Welcome your humanness in its humility, in its vulnerability, and be so grateful, so thankful. This gratitude, this thankfulness, expand your field. You become the natural you. Thank yourself for giving yourself permission to exist in the light. Because in the old paradigm, you could not give yourself permission to be the authentic you. 
You have all these belief, layers of beliefs of limitation. Limitation. Now you can create a new belief that of limitless you with gratitude during that period of thanksgiving. Offer gratitude to you, to your consciousness, to your light, to the love, that infinite love, which is in your heart. Your heart, for those who are here for the first time, you have your physical heart and you have your heart chakra, this vortex of energy at the center of your chest. The color of this chakra is emerald green. Oh, just, just connected to Venus, the, the abode of pure love. This heart chakra has in the middle of it a membrane. This membrane, the more you move into higher consciousness, the more you love for no reason, this membrane becomes thinner and thinner and thinner. The more you practice your path, the more you love for no reason, even if somebody has hurt you. When somebody hurts you, they are screaming, love me, I need to be loved, I wish to be loved, love me. Even if they have hurt you, love them and come to me. Come to me to receive more love. I pour the love into you because I come from source. Source is limitless and limitless love. So I'll give you more and more to awaken, to activate the limitless love inside of you. And the more you will love, the more this membrane will become thinner. And one day the human love and the source love merge. And you just love everybody for no reason. And if anybody has hurt you, I say to you, forgive them. Forgive them. It could be that this is the pain that you have experienced through that hurt that has brought us together. It could be. It could be that this pain is taking you in your spiritual path to be one with your soul, to be one with your highest self, to be one with your presence, the godly you, the div divine you. So let us today take a breath together and say, now I understand. Maybe I don't even understand 100%. I give myself permission to understand and to release the, the energy of these people from me, release the energy from you with the love you're feeling today, with a higher consciousness. Let's release them. Let's not carry them as a backpack on our shoulder. Let us enlighten our awareness, awareness of enlightenment, awareness of a higher awareness. An awareness which is higher than what we've had until an hour ago, five minutes ago, where we cannot, we could not forgive this person. And it could be that your soul has bring that person to you to trigger that place, which is an old, old pain and old suffering that needed to be healed. So when you have been triggered, it has come to surface, show it to you, so it is healed. Healing is extremely important in this new, in this new paradigm, in this new era. So let's look inside of you, what is it that hasn't been healed? And this is not only for those who are here for the first time. Hello, hello, baby. This is coming to surface to be healed. What is it that's in you? You have a hard time to allow healing to happen. Is it with your ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, divorce, 
um, parents who didn't give you your inheritance? What else can I say? Issue with your brothers and sisters? What is it? Something that you cannot forgive easily. And I'm not asking you to forgive right now. I'm asking you to be aware that this wound, said blessure, a été triggered, has been triggered. And when it's triggered, it comes to surface. It comes to surface because it needs to be healed. Now, intellectually, nothing will be healed. It's impossible to heal something intellectually. You can understand about the wounds, about healing intellectually, yes. But there's no healing possible intellectually, mentally, no. Why? Because when you were hurt, you were hurt emotionally. Does that make sense? Ah, I see some big eyes there, yes. Some head movement. You were hurt emotionally. So allow yourself to be emotional in that, that healing right now, but do not become the emotions. Allow the emotion to come to surface from your Hara center. Oh, I see the Brahmachari downstairs. Oh, did you say that? Hmm. So, do not become the emotions. The emotion of suffering is one, you are here. Look at it as you're looking at a screen and speak to it. Yes, today I understand this came to surface to be healed. I look at it, what is that suffering? That pain, it can have been as deep as you can imagine. It's an energy. Those who are here for the first time, face your hands towards my hands. Any one of you could do it, any one of you. Feel this vibration. Face your hands, right hand towards left hand. There will be something in between the hands. And you can enhance it, making it larger. You can also bring your hands closer to make a more concentrated energy. Everything is about energy. Your body is about energy. Your thoughts is about energy. Who you are in relationship is all about energy. Do you wish the energy to be high or low? That's your choice. High, all right. The wound is of lower energy. So now, Take this energy which is in your hand, wherever the, there has, you know this suffering is, whether it's in your heart, in your stomach area, in your brain, place this energy there and go slowly. No, no, that was too fast. Feel it again. And now gracefully give yourself permission to heal yourself. Yes, like this. Thank you. Give yourself permission to heal yourself. And it can be on a cellular level, but it starts with an emotion. Be pleased with yourself. Be proud of you. You can heal yourself. The other thing you can do if you have taken the energy of somebody else on you, in you, take it out with the same energy and awareness and consciousness, take it out of you wherever it is in your body or in your subtle bodies, grab it with your hands and give it back to the person. That is your energy, doesn't belong to me. 
Now, in every relationship, it doesn't matter what relationship it is. You have given your energy to this person in this relationship, and you have taken their energy on you. So now that you have given them back their energy, and say it, say it, verbalize it. And you can even say a name if you wish. X, I take your energy out of me and I give you back your energy. Because you cannot heal their energy, impossible. You cannot use their energy either. I give you back your energy. And because you are in relationship with these people, you have left your energy there. Maybe even your health, your power, whatever you have left there, grab it from them. Today, I take back my energy from you. Today, I take back my power from you. So you, instead of disempowering you, now you're empowering yourself. Now, let's say this person has say a sentence to you that you cannot forget. This will be in your brain area. Grab the sentence. You can even hear the sentence. Grab it. And give them back their sentence. I give you back your words. Doesn't belong to you. With your boss, with your work, anywhere. I give you back your words. And I take my power. Because this word has disempowered you. I take back my power from you and I place it in me. And your energy will absorb it right away because this is your signature. Remember, you cannot do anything with the energy of somebody else. And the other people cannot use your energy either. So take your energy. If somebody a month, a year, 10 years ago, and you still cannot forgive them for their death, I am asking you today, Take their death out of you. Anywhere you have place it in you. Take that death. Give it back to the dead person. They belong to them. It's damaging your energy if you keep it inside. It's non-life. Hear me well. Death is non-life. Do not keep the death of anybody in your system. And you have given them your life so they don't die. So grab your life from them now. With, yes, use your hands. Grab from this person. It may be your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your child. Grab your life from them. Free them to continue their journey. Free them by grabbing your life force and bring your life force back into you. You will feel so much, so much better and lighter. That's what you will feel, the heaviness. And you may be healed from any disease that has been there due to that death. Excellent. I'm very, very happy, very pleased to see. This is, this is the beauty of Thanksgiving. You are being loyal to yourself. And those who will be with me in, on Marco Island soon, I wish to give you a special diksha, a diksha that comes from the Pleiadians, and I will give it to you physically, from the Pleiadians and from the Milky Way, together with from Puta Party, what I'm receiving from Baba here to you. So come, come, we spend time together, play on the beach, run on the beach. The beaches are so large. And there will be darshan on December 18th, open to all public also. And a specific darshan as well. So, welcome, welcome, welcome.
so wonderful to see you. Hmm. Beautiful. The shift is happening. Are you aware now about the shift? You feel it, you see it, you sense it, it's here. The shift is, is it's very in an accelerated pace. How many of you sometimes you're standing and you feel like the floor is moving under your, your feet? Or your body is moving, but you're not really moving. This is the shift. The shift of what? The shift of consciousness. We're going towards an era where there will be no death on the planet anymore. There will be no disease on the planet anymore. There'll be no aging on the planet anymore. And when it's time for you to leave the planet, at a point, your system will turn into light and leave the planet. In the meantime, the body will change texture. The density will shift. The way you eat will shift. The way you think will shift. And it's going to happen very, very fast. Very fast. It could be one morning you open your eyes, you feel you're not the same person. Has anybody has thought to experience this? Like something has changed. Yay, fantastic. Something has changed. You didn't even do anything. Something has changed. Humanity will be enlightened without doing any meditation. That's how powerful is the cosmic energy now. So remember not to continue to be alone. Many humans love being alone or maybe has accepted loneliness. Community life. Community life is a must today. Community life, it's a must. You cannot continue to live by yourself. Share with others. This will start the community of togetherness. Share with others. Spend time together. When you feel something is off inside of you, pick the phone, call somebody. Have a little satsang because your consciousness will move so fast, you will feel what's happening to me. Am I losing it? Yes, you are. You're losing the old paradigm. So you have to create space for the new paradigm energy to enter. And in that, you'll feel a little bit of centered sometime. And for those who are here for the first time, I would like all the teachers to communicate with them and teach them the technique of centeredness. Very important to stay centered. But that doesn't mean it's easy because everything is shaking. Does that resonate with you? Yes, 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 yes. So beautiful to see you. Mm. Do we, is it possible for me to hear some of the new newcomers? I would love to hear those who are here for the first time so that you can ask me question is something you cannot understand. Oh, it could be also because you, you were born for this and you, you are, you understand everything. So let me hear those who are here for the first time. Joseph, Joseph, Joseph. I'm here. I can hear you. Yes. Hi. Uh, hi my, hi it's so beautiful to see you um I, my my body is physically changing i notice i'm having um some new like features of my body grow and that's correct like, yes and 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 i'm getting like the hindu like the hindus have these two lines down here 
and I'm <laughs> having this growing in my body. And I swear, like, it's impossible for what I'm experiencing happen. My teeth are growing enamel over its roots. I mean, my teeth are growing back. Like my age is reversing. It's in, my dentist was so worried about my roots of my teeth. And now there's no roots anymore. So I don't know what's going it's, on, but it, it's crazy. It's a little scary because at first it was kind of a demonic experience because I, was, I stopped meditating. I stopped, I fell from grace. I had to go out and lose myself to find myself again. But now that I bring in light into me, all that energy that is, is transforming once again into something different, pearlescent, and, and it's illuminating. Like my skin glows. Illuminating, that's correct. Yeah, and, and children in the <coughs> children in, in Target go, look, mommy, he's glowing. He's and I, I have to wear a hood sometimes, but I it's not like coming out of my, my aura, it's literally coming from my skin. <laughs> This is it, it's happening. Thank you. Donna, welcome, welcome. Hi, I just wanna thank you. What a beautiful, beautiful heart energy. Uh, Sister Paula recommended that I connect with you and I'm so grateful that I did. And um, I'm going to see about coming to Marco Island because I just feel like it's time. Welcome. Thank you. There's a beautiful light around you. Cultivate it. Cultivate it. Cultivate Thanks. it through love, through a smile, this beautiful smile that you just cultivate it, no matter what happens. Thank you. And call on me anytime, any day, million times today. I've Always got present. chills. I've got chills. Oh, lovely. Thanks. Welcome. Welcome. Physicality in Florida. Excellent. Thank Come. you for all that you bring to humanity. Thank it's you. Honor. Blessings to you with great love. Martha. Hey, Ma. So what's what's written on your t-shirt? You can't buy love. Yay. But you can rescue it. <laughs> um, thank you so much for this teaching. I am so grateful to Noel for inviting me. Um, I called her today because I I do the same work she does. I rescue animals and um train them uh, to also help people that need unconditional love. And that's what I found in animals. And lately I've been, after like 30 years of spiritual path, lately I've been off alignment as you, as you called it, um, you know, with worry about resources and money and lots of work and a lot of, um, I need more day, more hours in my day. So I was, getting into this energy of, um, yes, lack of trust and desperation. And she invited me here to, to receive your teachings so that I can go back. My, my main interest here is how do, I, how do I align my energy so that I can keep doing the work or, yeah, the work of the source. I just want Perfect. to be an interest that I can help. But as I said earlier, the teachers are going to bring to you a very old yogic technique that I've learned centuries ago for all of you to be centered. It's extremely important to be in this alignment. Like imagine your energy at six o'clock. So you will have this teaching and you practice it for 40 days, you will never have to practice it again. It will be anchored in your whole system between the earth and the whole cosmos. You're so beautiful, lovely. I do see a lot of light wish to come in. There is a fear in you though. Yes. And it's lack of, lack of faith. You don't trust yourself enough. So I invite you from this very moment to start even with one item, trust yourself 
And I'm going to start activating the faith that you were born with. I'm not putting faith in you. You were born with faith. I'm going to start activating it so that the faith and the trust when you start working with yourself, it gives you this empowerment. Thank you. Welcome. Blessings to you. Welcome, welcome, Laura, welcome. Hello, Your Holiness. Uh, I am new to you. I just recently found out about you. I have no idea who you are or someone just invited me. But everything you said resonated with me. And I feel like now I know where I came from, from the, ah. Pal from the Palladians. Superb, superb. And uh, I love everything he said. And how do I know? I don't even know who my teacher is. Who would that be? Wow. So who is my teacher? The person that invited me? Possible. We will know. That, don't even have this question for now. For now, just enjoy. Open yourself and enjoy what's coming. Okay. I will. Thank you so much. Open, just like a flower. Allow the flower that you are to open. Just allow. Okay. I, I, I think I do allow. I'm open. I'm always open. I, trust. I have no fear. Yes. No trust. Yes. 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 There's only two energies on planet Earth. Fear love or love. Fear. Exactly. So, I'm Thank delighted you. you are here. I'm Wonderful. Delighted. Delighted to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Blessings. Hello. Hello, Hi. Michelle. Hi, I'm so grateful to be here with you. Thank you so much. A friend. You welcome so much. <laughs> I'm just so delighted to actually be speaking with you. Thank you. I am so appreciative of all of the teaching, all of the healing energy that you offered and, and continue to offer. And I just, all I really want to do is express my gratitude and to just say thank you. Oh, oh lovely. I'm grateful to you. Anytime, any situation, ma, ma, instantly, faster than the speed of light, the speed of consciousness. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Blessings to you. And to you. And welcome. What a wonderful, wonderful moment on this Thanksgiving to be together like this. So, so wonderful. Sharifa. Om Jai Jai Sema. Om Jai Jai Sema. It, it, I'm, I want to thank Rhonda. I'm from the Egyptian group. And I just want to tell you, we're so happy and we feel so much gratitude. We've been feeling you since the summer. We were, we were connecting together, meditating, and we felt you. We felt you coming to Egypt. Yes, that's correct. So we're so happy. We're so happy this is happening. So and we are coming forward. to Egypt next year. We are coming. We are waiting. We are, we are waiting and we are looking forward to helping you in every way. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did this time. Blessings. Blessings to you. you. Much love. Hmm. Sylvia. Hello. So wonderful to meet you. And wonderful to meet you. I'm delighted. Yes, it just happened yesterday that uh, I found you. Mm -hmm. And uh, today is a meeting. So it seems like. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm talking to you. Yeah. So I'm Europe and Germany. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. I'm in Puttaparthi, South India. Close to Bangalore. Yes. Wonderful. 
Yeah, fear um, also. Um, when did you... Sorry, Sorry, could please. you repeat, please? I said maybe could one you day you could repeat what you said. I said maybe ah, one day. Yes. <laughs> you can read my thoughts also. <laughs> Great. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I feel um, connected to Maria Magdalene and to Jesus. Mm. Um, although I uh, not yet I know what. Um, <laughs> do not yet know. Um, yeah um what will develop yes because i'm still working in the scientific work environment and so uh, yeah well it's very interesting you you're connected to both jesus and magdalena and you are here speaking to me with the shiva and the shakti the masculine and the feminine so this oh. balance will start to move into your own system, mm -hmm. body and subtle body. Wonderful. So it's just, it's, yeah, is this the reason why I feel um, you're not clear how I'm feeling <laughs> in the body? So oh, it's, it's, I think it's nobody is clear what they're feeling nowadays. Okay. Just, just allow yourself to be in the flow of life. Do not mm -hmm. resist. You see, when you resist, this is what happens. Do not resist. Open. Welcome. Mm -hmm. This is this is the best. There'll be no pain. You just start to move into, and it will teach you to relax your system as well. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Blessings. Uh... Hello. Hello. Uh, uh, hello. Uh, hello. hello. I, I, for me, was very interested because of what uh, you were explaining about of the new conscience. I think that the new conscience maybe began uh, sometimes years before, uh, maybe 2012, and Correct. it's going to continue. And uh, I think that the new conscious is um, is going to be opened much more, although the bad things that that are occurring in the world. But uh, I think what do you that... mean? What do you mean by bad things occurred in the world? No, imagine oh. that. Imagine that you are in a room that hasn't been open for 100 years and suddenly you open the window you are going to see what you could not see yeah okay but well, no, what's I was, yeah yeah well say, okay so uh, may, may, maybe it's going to be in this decade a more a more conscious a more conscious uh, for good so i think that the, so but when you talk about the, the reverse of the age i didn't understand so well what do you mean because you you speak about the age uh, the the age bi biological biological and the age chronological but correct when you you speak about the age uh, the reverse I, I i didn't understand so well what do you mean Aging comes because of lower consciousness. Lower consciousness means when there a place where it's fear-based. Do you understand that part? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. When you love, you're in a higher frequency. You know yes, that. Yes, 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 of course. When you are when you are in fear base, you're in lower frequency. Yes, yes. Higher, lower. Somebody is age very fast when they live in lower energy. Uh, yeah, yeah, in that sense. Now this is being elevated, people will stay younger on a longer period of time, younger and younger. Meaning that the age of your organs today is probably older than the age that you, when you say you were born, for instance. Hmm? Yes, in yes, the future, yes. 
because the new consciousness is going to work with the physical body, the cells, the molecules, they are going, th these cells are going to be younger in a longer period of time. Yes, yes, I understand perfectly well. Yes, Age yes. reversal. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Blessings to you. Hi, Alex. Hi, it's such an honor speaking with you. I'm so thrilled right now and I'm just getting goosebumps. <laughs> I Thank call this God's bumps. I call yeah. this God's bumps. <laughs> So I just want to say thank you so much for all you do for us. I'm so excited to be seeing you uh, perhaps physically in Marco Island. I have everything already situated and planned. So I'm excited about that. Yes. Thank you so much. And I've not ever heard of your name or anything about you until last year when I first uh, joined online for the Global Unity Gathering. It was such a magnificent yeah. event. And so here I am again. And uh, I'd like to just uh, thank Kevin Trudeau for, uh, for mentioning you. So that's how I found out about you. <laughs> Lovely. Yes. And uh, I do have one question. Let's say, for instance, uh, we feel or I'd like to call upon you for help in any situation. Do I just say, Ma, please help me? Oh, and... you don't even have to say please. Just say, Ma, oh. I need you here. Okay. Ma. Uh do that with me, always with you. Okay, and that could be any time. <laughs> I, I am, I, I live a quantum life, so I, I don't know what time is about. What is time, I don't know anymore. Understood, thank you so much. Your information and knowledge is just beyond the words I could express if, to say thank you. If you accept tonight, I would like to take the veil and be on the other side. I accept. I'm excited. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love you. <laughs> and I love you. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. Thank you so much. Blessings. <sighs> ah. Bon, bonjour, ouais, je suis très émue. Euh, oh, bonjour. Euh, euh, ouais, ça fait pas très longtemps que j'ai que je voilà que je vous connais. C'est une, 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 une amie qui m'a dit de venir ce soir. Et, et ben, gratitude pour tout, pour qui vous êtes. Mmh. Pour, euh, voilà, pour la lumière que vous donnez. Mm -hmm. euh, et voilà, j'ai pas, j'ai pas, mais c'est au-delà des mots. Et, oh. et je, voilà. Plein de tendresse à vous. Plein de tendresse. Votre âme, votre âme nous met en contact aujourd'hui. Vraiment. Votre âme est toute réjouissante, là, je, moi je la vois, hein. euh, c'est magnifique ce qui vous attend, magnifique. Vous allez avoir des moments, dans les, dans les jours, les heures qui viennent, des moments comme, comme, comme quand on est enfant, cette innocence, cette pureté va se manifester, c'est très beau. Et c'est OK de pleurer. C'est OK. Ce sont des larmes de grâce, n'est-ce pas? Le cœur s'ouvre et les larmes de grâce qui, qui coulent. C'est merveilleux. Je vous aime. Je vous aime. Je vous aime. Merci. Merci. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Last night, my friend Leanne told me 
to join with this. So I, I'm just so filled with gratitude to you and my dear friend. And um, I'm the youngest child in my family, but I worked in senior care and healthcare. So it's been my joy to be there for my parents and to help them oh, to age me. with health and vibrance and lower their stress. Beautiful, beautiful. It's, oh. I, I'm very lucky, but most of my siblings only see that my parents will die soon and they want their inheritance. And I've, the last few years, I've been as much protecting my parents from my siblings, my brothers and sisters, as I have been. It's been very painful that the very people I thought would be my lifetime of shared history and and friendship has been um, torn by their pursuing greed and- Bonita, Bonita, Bonita. Yeah. Speak only of you to me, not of your siblings. Well, well I, my gratitude to you is obviously there's, you reminded me today, it's my choice, what I wish to absorb. Perfect. And Perfect. it is my right to love them and to give them love. And so yeah. this, this is going to be my, it's so much nicer than where I was. I want to thank you and I will do I would like to share something else with you, Bonita. Mm -hmm. I see in your energy a lot of expectations. Mm -hmm. This will kill all the relationships. Expectation is okay as long as you express it. Mm -hmm. In this expression, you have to accept no also as an answer. You do not control anybody. The other topic, now I go a little bit further. When you took birth, you took birth to, with your mother and father. Nothing to do with your sisters and brothers. They came for their destiny, their karma with your, their parents. You came for your, with your parents. You didn't come for the brothers and sisters. So I invite you very moment to absorb this knowledge and drop these expectations, drop them. Be completely new, fresh. They don't have to love you. You don't have to love them. It's not because you're brothers and sisters that you have to love them. Is that clear? Yeah. You Thank will you. not suffer anymore if you understand this knowledge. And I'm going to ask my staff to send you that little clip here. Thank you. And you listen to it over and over again until your whole system has absorbed this knowledge. Oh, how much expectation have I piled on my sisters and brothers without saying anything to them? I just expect them to do this, expect them to do this. Uh -uh. And they have the right of inheritance just like you. Oh, no, I have no problem with inheritance. I had, you know, they... Uh they hurt our parents. And I think my expectation is that we all support my parents, but you are right. I can't control anyone. That's right. And not expectation, unless you say to the person, this is what I expect from you. Can you commit to that? The person is free to say yes or no. Uh, They've been very clear, no, but okay. I guess that's for them. It's not for me to keep the whole family together. It's for me to just have my life 
and be there for my parents as and we are here. enjoying we are enjoying our time together that's it and be grateful to you learn to be grateful to you because i don't see that in you i see you giving 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 but you i don't see no. there is a hole somewhere here yeah so i will invite you to maybe once a month take three hours for you go to a spa and sweat a little bit let all this energy come out of you take care of you you cannot be a caretaker for everybody caretaker sometimes there's no love in it be a caretaker for you as well Thank you. Then there will be no resentment. Trust me. I see the resentment. The resentment will drop because you will drop the expectations. Voila. Merci. Thank you. Thank you. Bonjour, Saima. Bonjour. Bonjour, mon cher Bruno. Bonjour, bonsoir. Bonsoir. J'étais touché de vous rencontrer parce que je, Saïba Bay, mon gourou aussi. Je suis venu à Pouta Parti avec ma famille. En... Oh, <rire> oh. Eh bien, aujourd'hui, pendant, pendant la, la, la procession du chariot d'or, à un mm. moment, j'ai vu Baba s'asseoir physiquement. Oh. Ah, je le vois souvent dans mes méditations, alors ça me... Bien sûr, bien sûr, bien sûr. Bien voilà. sûr. Je suis content de vous rencontrer pour la première fois comme ça. Ouais. Écoutez, Bruno, vous êtes rayonnant. Oh, merci. Vous êtes absolument rayonnant. Ah, merci, je suis content d'entendre ça. Je travaille dans l'énergie. Oui, ah, excellent. Soyez. En tout cas, vous êtes rayonnant et votre cœur est là, votre cœur est libre et il est frais, il est là. Mmh. Et je crois que ce qui vous apporte beaucoup, c'est ce côté dévotionnel que je vois chez vous. Mmh. C'est ce côté de dévotion. Et toujours penser à faire bon, à faire du bien. Oui, ça me touche. <rire> Merci. Je vois, je vois cela, je vois. Oui. Ouais, je suis passé par le Covid, j'étais intubé, tout ça, mais ça m'a fait faire un voyage... Un peu dans ah, mais ça vous a renforcé quelque part parce que dans votre oreille, il y a, du, il y a des énergies nouvelles. Ah oui, ah, voilà. ah, ben, je suis content d'entendre. Merci, merci. Ah, ça m'a oui. touché de vous rencontrer vraiment. Oui. Mmh. Et je vous avez vu avez... alors euh... Et où alors Moi, je suis en Belgique. Voilà. Mais je, je vous appelle. Je, je crois oui. que je viens en Belgique au printemps. Ah, c'est vrai Ah bon alors, je vais, j'essaierai de venir vous voir. Oui, 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 oui. Merci de votre présence et de, de votre rayonnement. Hein. Ça, me, ça me touche et ça me, ça me fait du bien aussi. Merci beaucoup. Je vous en prie. Sairam, Sairam. Sairam, Sairam. Merci. Hello. Hello. I'm very grateful and thankful to be able to talk to you. I also learned of you through Kevin Trudeau. I was at the Global Unity Gathering last year, and I've been following you since. Did a Merkaba meditation last night. That was beautiful. Mm, yeah. mm. So You're enjoying your spiritual path, Michelle. A lot of transformation, I see. Mm-hmm. Going through a lot, but it's going to be worth it. Do you have any questions? If there's anything you feel like I need to hear right now. I'm then. delighted that you are, you really take your path seriously. And the transformation is definitely here, I see. And your okay. heart is expanded right now. I, I, 
there's a little fear, a little apprehension at the same time, heart is opening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like to see somebody drying the hair. <laughs> Can you hear me with the hair dryer? <laughs> Wonderful, Michelle. I'm delighted to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Thank you. Lovely. Blessings, blessings. Hi, hi, Saima. It's a great pleasure to talk uh, to you. Hello, I'm Rosita from Rosita, Italy. Rosita, Rosita. Wow. It's a great honor to talk to you and uh, I would like to receive a blessing because uh, I am inexplicably single since three years and I think that I worth to be loved and I worth uh, everything like a wealthy life and so on. You, you are loved. <laughs> you may not see it you are loved yeah. you are loved all the time that is what I repeat to myself every day during the meditation what's important not only at meditation anytime during your day feel how you are loved not say to yourself intellectually feel how loved you are you are so loved okay <laughs> you are so Thank loved you. Oh, yes. Oh. oh, I don't see you. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I thanks. I see you. Thank you. I, I feel you. I hear, I feel you. <laughs> I can feel you. Yeah. Wow. Well, enjoy that. Enjoy yeah. that. And when you're, if you're looking for an, a relationship, drop your expectations be free in it and your soul will be will bring the one that resonate with you okay I, okay lovely thank you. Thank, you. thank you thank you blessing i i enjoy that huh Hello, Saima. I love you so much. Oh, Michelle. My heart just expands. I have a question. Yes, Michelle. When you spoke about feelings, do not become them. I have a lot of old feelings from early childhood trauma that keep coming up. Mm -hmm. And I would really appreciate hearing a little bit more about how. All right, let's do something now. Give me one example. Um, one example is I was <clears throat> verbally abused a lot. So if somebody. Okay, stay there. No, 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 okay. stay here. So you've been abused verbally. It, where is it in your body? Yes, in my chest. In your chest. Do this with me, just this. Go into your chest and give me the sentence that comes the more often. Um, you're worthless. You, what That's you it. have to... No, no, stay, the, stay with one sentence. Take the, take the sentence, you are worthless. Take it with your hands, grab it. It's an energy, you know that. Mm -hmm. It's an energy. Take it, grab it like this. Give it back to the voice, that, to the person who said it to you. It doesn't matter who it is. Give it back. I give you back your words. Say it. I give you back your words. So who said it to you? Mother. Mother, Mother, today I give you back your words. Today I give you back your words, Mother. I feel the energy, but do not become it. Feel it. The not becoming it, I guess if I do this process, I seem to become it more than I'd like to. But 
perhaps this, because you said, you know, let it go through you, but don't become it or whatever. That's it. That's it. Now go back to your chest. These words are not there anymore. I would like you to feel the difference between before and now. I do. Do you feel that there's a space and you are lighter? Your chest is lighter. Yes. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. You'll never accumulate too much. Accumulate too much. What does uh, that you'll mean? never become much in your life. You're too oh. sensitive. That has nothing to do with sensitive sensitivity. Let's do that. Now, let's come back to the first space. You can feel there is a lightness. I can see it. Yes. Now, when your mother said that to you, your worth went to her. Yes. I'm going to ask you, again, feel energy in your hands. Go towards your mother and say, Mother, I take my worth back and mother? bring it here. I take my worth back to me. And say it with power. I take back my worth to me. Yes, yes. Yeah, I've given a lot away. And I'm taking it back. Take your power. Take your power from your mother right now. I am mother, taking I my power. Back. Back Say to, to me. Back. To me. To me. Now experience what's happening in your chest. It feels more spacious and lighter. I've had a lot of respiratory stuff from a long time. Naturally, because the lungs was suffocated. That's normal. Yes. You see the difference. Now, I'm going to ask you, and make sure you communicate with one of my staff. I'm going to ask you to practice this healing work. After a week, I would like you to send a message and call one of my office and tell them how you are feeling because your lungs is going to be healed. You're going mm -hmm. to take one by one and keep a journal, write the sentence so that I can speak to you in the future. And a teacher will be speaking. I'm Oh, oh, I love you. Thank you for everything for all of us. Here's and some love. Here's some love. Take it. Take that love and place it in you, in your heart. You are a good person. There's nothing wrong with you. It just programmation has come into your world. Today, you are going to learn how to deprogram you, how to take out what doesn't belong to you, give it back to the person. What a gift to do that. Thanksgiving. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Hello. Bonjour. Bonjour, Salma. Xavier, bonjour. Euh, je, bah, je suis ravie euh, d'être là. Euh, je vais enlever la traduction parce que ça me gêne. Voilà. Euh, ravie de pouvoir vous parler. Je vous ai connu l'année dernière euh, grâce à Kevin Trudeau, moi aussi. Et euh, j'ai l'impression d'avoir bien avancé, mais à chaque fois que je suis une de vos, à chaque fois je suis au bord des, des larmes, et je ne comprends pas pourquoi. C'est la grâce, la, la grâce va, va pénétrer votre cœur et la grâce va vous éveiller de l'intérieur. Quand j'ai rencontré mon maître, j'ai pleuré pendant quatre jours. Et c'est OK. Ce ne sont pas des pleurs de souffrance. 
ce sont de pleurs de reconnaissance. Cet amour que, que j'ai vers vous, cette lumière que je, que je mène vers vous, eh bien, va, va vous éveiller votre âme, va éveiller votre conscience. Et cette grâce est là, elle est là. D'accord, merci. C'est beau de pleurer. C'est qu'il y a une ouverture qui se fait. C'est vrai, ce n'est pas de la souffrance, c'est juste à chaque fois que je vous vois, à chaque fois que je vous écoute, je suis dans cet état. C'est beau, c'est très beau. Parce que la grâce va, va vous ouvrir sans que vous le, vous le sentiez même. Votre cœur va s'expanser, votre conscience va s'élever. Et cette, il y a une connaissance intérieure qui va se révéler à vous. Accueillez ces larmes. Accueillez l'ouverture de votre cœur. C'est grandiose. C'est toute votre aide intérieure, votre aide de lumière à vous qui va se, se manifester. C'est ça la grâce de l'amour. C'est cela la grâce de la vie. D'accord, merci. Je demande que ça. Je vous en prie. Merci beaucoup. Là, vous, là, là, vous en avez en, en abondance. En, vraiment en abondance. René, utilisez mon cœur comme, comme un, 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 un escalier. Et prenez mon cœur, mettez-le dans votre cœur. Prenez votre cœur, mettez-le dans le mien. Ce cœur a de l'amour qui va éveiller votre amour infini à vous. C'est merveilleux. Merci beaucoup. Je vous en prie. Je vous en prie. I'd like to see everybody, I'd like to offer blessings and energy to everybody. And those who are new, open your hands towards my hands, close your eyes. Your hands are relaxed, opened. Your fingers are straight and receive. You're not receiving only my energy here. I'm connected with your soul. These waves that you are feeling They are yours, they are for you. Your right hand face to your left hand very graciously, very slowly, full of grace. Feel this energy in between your hands. When, close your eyes, family is here. And now take it and place it on your heart, in your chest. Offer gratitude to your body. Offer gratitude to the organs of the body. Offer gratitude to all the cells of the body. Offer this deep gratitude to your nervous system, to all the system, the endocrine system, digestive system, offer gratitude. Your brain, yes, go ahead, go ahead. Yes, eyes closed, les yeux fermés. Now, Take your hands and go into your subtle body, into your aura. Offer gratitude with so much love in your auric field. With so much love 
for yourself. For yourself, your hands towards your aura, not out towards outside, inward. Yes, thank you. Offer to your auric field. With so much love, offer acceptance to your body, to your consciousness. That deep love that you carry, you are all so full of love for the, this auspicious day of thanksgiving, offer to yourself. Gratitude, thanksgiving, give thanks to your life, to everything you carry in your life, you have in your life, offer gratitude. I offer gratitude to you for being part of my life. Offer gratitude to your parents. Because of them, you're on the planet. And because of them, you can start enjoying the path of your soul, the path of light, the path of love, the path of consciousness, the path of enlightenment, divinity. Gratitude to your parents. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Great blessings with great, great love, great respect. Great joy that we are together to create that oneness, to serve ourselves, serve the planet, serve the world, serve all creatures on the planet. I love you so. Om Titi What a blessing to be together in this way. And as you can see, I'm here with my dear community members. And we want to invite you, Treveni is going to be joining us in a moment, Treveni Das, to share some important and exciting announcements. He's just coming down from having been with Saima and has some messages to share with us. And I want to invite you to practice with us the centering technique. Here together as a community, we're going to practice aligning our energy field so we can continue to grow in the power of all that Saima has offered us. So just simply, we're going to bring our hands together in front of our heart. And with a deep inhale, we're going to raise one hand directly above the head with our hands straight and the other at our belly button. And as we exhale, we bring our hands together in front of our heart. And we'll switch sides, inhale, other hand directly up. If you choose, you can close your eyes. Exhale, hands together in front of the heart. And one final time, the other hand directly up. Feel the center line as you exhale and bring your hands together in front of your heart. And for a moment, rest here, feeling this contact between the palms of your hands and allow yourself to become aware of, to experience what has become active and alive in you through this time with Saima. When you choose, you can rest your hands with eyes open or closed. Let's take a few deep breaths and allow all of this to sink in. What we have received, this transmission, is an energy that we can continue to fuel, 
to empower, to cultivate using our intent, using our intuition. And using the power of community, who we are, as Ma spoke to, so important to be in this vortex where we can amplify that light, the power of consciousness in each one of us. How good it is to be together. Thank you for being with us in this epic journey that we've been on in the, over the last two hours on this occasion. And as we move to closing the call, I just wanna offer a few clarifying points about some of the upcoming opportunities that Her Holiness Saima shared with all of us. As Ma spoke to right now, we're here in Puddhaparti and Ma's seeing how much it's serving us to be here. And so Ma's wishing to make this opportunity more available. So if you wish to get a group of together, Ma said a good size group is 10. You organize yourself and you let us know. You can email us, the support at sai-ma.com email. It's on all of our websites. And let us know when you're thinking of coming. And then we'll coordinate with a group leader on your team. And then while you're here, Ma is wishing to make available a special session called the Baba Ma Energy Session. So this is Puta Party. And then regarding December, we'll be having our Global Unity Gathering where all the teachings that Ma has been bringing to us, we're going to be bringing forward. This will be the first event where these teachings are going to be brought forward and not to be missed. There's going to be the in-person component at the JW Marriott in Marco Island. And Ma spoke of some of the things Ma is going to be doing physically if those of us who, who will be there as well. And that event is going to be live streamed or created as an online experience as well. So it'll be our hybrid events. So you can come in person or you can come and participate online. And so I invite you to be there at this unfolding of the consciousness that's happening and the expression of these teachings that will be coming to you. Additionally, on that Sunday, and this is new, a new decision, um, we've had many people asking, can I bring my friends and family to Darshan, this experience of the blessings in the final day on Sunday of the Global Unity Gathering, December 18th, and Ma has said yes to this. So we'll be closing the Golby Unity Gathering Sunday mid-morning, and then we'll be opening up a public darshan in the same hall and space. And those participating in person, you're welcome to invite your friends and family, or if you know people in the area, to invite them as well. And we'll be communicating more about that and the specifics of that as that gets closer. And I really, really, really invite you to look at how you can participate in this event. You know, if you're participating online, we've been doing this for the last few years, as you heard from some of the people who are with us, we've found ways to make this very powerful, engaging, as you experience the energy of, of what's available. So this is not just like a Zoom meeting. This is a living, transformative energy that enters into our home and our space. Our team is always available to answer any questions you may have. And if you are not yet registered, we have a special gift for you of $100 off of the tuition. So it'll be a special uh, code that'll be posted at the end here, a, a link there. And if this is the first time meeting us, we're gonna spend you a, send you a special email with a special offer as well. So you can look, look out for that email and in that email, we'll send you the Egypt recording that Ma spoke about as well. So you can look, look forward to that um, and a few other things that Ma spoke about. So you'll be getting follow-up emails, more information. You can reach out to us. And I really, really look forward to seeing you where we have this turning of this point of closing 2022 and creating a whole new year together, 2023, in this acceleration of the shift of this consciousness. And Ma did speak of when Ma's next in Puta Party, Ma wants to do a workshop from here as well online. So new creation just after the call completed. So as that gets created, we will communicate that as well.
Invite us just to feel the love and the blessings of our togetherness as we order, sending you our love here as well, all around the world. It is so good to be together, and it is so important to be together as we go through this shift. So when we get shaken, we can be held and loved and supported. So I invite you just to feel that, to receive that, to give yourself permission to receive and take that into your day. Love and with grace. So much gratitude for you for saying yes, for being with us. Happy Thanksgiving for those of you in the U.S. Happy Satya Sai, Satya Sai Baba's birthday. And Om J.J. Sai Ma. Oh, Jesus, sign up.